So as the holidays approach, I think it's inevitable that we all feel a little extra stress, whether it be traffic at the mall when you're trying to last minute shop, family staying over or overspending on gifts. The list goes on. Today we brought executive coach and author Elizabeth Pearson here to teach us how to make stress our friend this holiday season. Welcome DBL, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. I'm so excited to talk about this topic. Well, yeah. We're so excited to have you. Now, Elizabeth, you help people break out of the mental cage that holds us yeah. back. So why is this so important as we get older? I think it's important because we're not dead yet, right? Like, I think when we're little, we have some of this external conditioning, trying to tell us who we are, mold us into being a certain person. And then as we grow and we actually embrace freedoms that we have, we start to kind of refer back to those old patterns of thinking, I can only do this or I can only do that. I'm sure we all have a wonderful friend or family member that we just love and we think, God, why aren't they doing all of this amazing stuff? They're genius and they're beautiful and they're strong, but it's this mental conformity that we end up getting into when we get older. But I think it's really important to kind of identify that, like identify where a comfort zone might be and then try to do little things differently to break free from that so you can gain some momentum and then start living this life of freedom and abundance that we all should be living. I love that. That is great advice. It really is. And I was excited to ask you this question because I feel like the holidays are, are different. There's almost kind of two, pe two different kinds of people. There's people that show up and eat and open gifts. And there's the people that plan everything. Flights, grandpa needs this, you know, all this. So like the holidays are actually really stressful for a lot of people. So right. what would you say to them in terms of handling this period of high stress in, uh, so they can maximize the holidays and have fun like everybody else? Yeah. I think first off, you get you can kind of flip the script and say, you know, I can take any obstacle and turn it into an opportunity. So you could say, I get to be the person that is the go-to for all of my family members who love me so much and are traveling to come see me. You know, you can always kind of like see it as an opportunity to maybe do something different than you did last year. Like for instance, last holiday season, I made a commitment not to have any alcohol. And I thought, we'll see how this goes. You know, I'm gonna get to try something different. And it was wonderful. So I think if you really kind of change your perspective on it, it can be a challenge and you can get to overcome that challenge. Another really good tip is to lower expectations. Yes. <laughs> lower expectations <laughs> for your family, lower expectations on yourself too, because I think it's around the holidays, um, if we can just assume good intent um, behind everybody who's around us and lower our expectations, we're a lot less likely to be disappointed. I love it. So we're always hearing the word boundaries when it comes to protecting our own peace. So how do we create them during the holiday chaos? And maybe I have a specific for you, for me personally. What do I do when I'm singing in a car and there's no parking spots and the guy who just got in his car <laughs> takes five minutes and he's looking at his phone I and I'm waiting that. for him. How do I find my right. inner peace during this holiday season? <laughs> I think in that specific instance, you could think that maybe he's texting somebody who's in the middle of a crisis or Aww. emergency. You, know, you, know, you never really know. I tell this story, my husband you know, traveled a lot and his flights were delayed quite frequently. And there was one time it was delayed like four hours. It was brutal. I was at home with the kids. I wanted him to get back. And it turned out when they were boarding, a guy had a cardiac arrest in line. And so we thought about, gosh, if he was on that plane, that man might not have survived. He might not have had those people there to save his life. So I think, Again, assuming good intent, maybe that person is just totally spaced out, but maybe they would need to get away from their kids for two you know, hours or something. And they're sitting there and they're just sitting in the parking lot. Maybe they're having you know, an episode of some sort and they just need some space away from everybody. So, and then know that by sending them positivity and love and saying, I hope that you're getting what you need in my parking space, that the sooner you can get to that vibration, another space will open up just for you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a metaphor for I'm gonna take right. this clip Clip, yeah. And then when I'm boiling, I'm just gonna be like, where's that? Where's that clip? <laughs> oh, thanks, Elizabeth. Thank no. you. you <laughs> She's right. You're right. Flipping the script, perspective can change like your whole attitude and your outcome. The, so I have to ask you this because the holidays are supposed to be the happiest yeah. time. Nobody wants any conflict or, or to cause conflict. So what do you actually say to a person that you want to set a boundary with? What would what would your script be? Yeah, well, first, I think you need to identify where you need to set a boundary. So maybe identify, I call it drains, right? What are these big drains? Is it the travel? Is it that you're going to be staying with a family member and maybe you're not going to have your own bathroom? You're not going to have your own personal spray space. So identify what it is that is kind of triggering the stress or the anxiety within you. And then I think have a candid conversation, maybe with a hostess or whoever's house you're in and say, you know, I know that you want me to be happy and joyful while I'm here because as we 
likely know that will spread to everybody else in your environment. So what I'm going to need is maybe from three to four every day. Um, we cannot have any family activities. That's going to be my meditation time, or that's going to be my time to go sit in a random parking spot somewhere <laughs> and be alone. But I think if you come in and you don't really like try to project it on the person, like you make me feel this way. Instead say, I've identified that I need some personal space or I've identified that I will not talk about politics at you know the Thanksgiving or Christmas table, what have you. And if that does happen, just know that I'm gonna remove myself, right? So I think having a boundary and really trying to communicate it in a way that this is what I need to feel comfortable in this space with you. I think everybody is going to want to honor that. And it doesn't it doesn't finger point at somebody else. If you just really are vocalizing what you need. I love that because then it saves all the passive aggressiveness, right? Yeah. It's like you just cut to the yeah. chase. This is what I need. Oh, sure. Here, we'll make we'll arrange that for you. Boom. Right. But nobody does it. Do that, nobody right. does it. Yeah, if you can't do that, then I'm going to, I will fix it myself. Yep. But it really is 100% accountability. And I think a lot of times people try to hold others to agreements that they never made. But if you right. come in and say, this is what I need, and then there's an agreement made, then you might have a little bit, you know, to come back with if they over, you know, overpass that boundary. So I think it's just a lot of clear communication and empathy and compassion for each other. Love it. Thank you so year. much, Elizabeth, for helping us take better care of ourselves this holiday season. To our viewers, you got to get her book. It would make a great gift. You can pick up a copy of Career Confinement wherever books are sold. We'll be right back. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank Happy you. holidays. Thank you. You too.